the CDC and FDA recommended boosters for uh, people over 50. I think specifically, there's a strong recommendation for people over 65. If it's been more than six months, they should get a, a second booster, an additional booster. And for people over 50 who are higher risk, diabetes, obesity, other medical conditions, it's recommended getting a second booster, a fourth shot. Um, I do think that the new uh, BA2 variant is spreading in the United States. I don't think we're going to see a big surge, but we will likely see an increase in cases. So this variant, like Omicron, um, from which it derived, uh, tends to cause more mild illness, but in higher risk patients, it can still be very serious. So high risk individuals over 65, over 50 with comorbid conditions, recommending getting a second booster. You know, for people who are young and healthy, who've had one booster, I don't think there's any data to suggest they need another booster. They're low risk if they're fully vaccinated up until now to, to get uh, a significant illness. So I think the focus should be on people over 65 and people over 50 with comorbid conditions, with one exception. It seems likely that the CDC is going to recommend people over 18 who have an immunocompromising condition uh, get um, a second booster. But for the average healthy uh, 20 something, 30, 30 something, 40 something without significant comorbid conditions, I don't think there's a need for a second booster. One last thing to mention is that people who are higher risk, it's becoming easier to get the new uh, oral therapy. So if you have uh, immunocompromising condition or in a higher risk group and you're test positive, it's becoming uh, much simpler for your doctor to simply send a prescription to the pharmacy. And we've been in a lull in the United States the last few weeks. Paxlovid is the medicine that's most effective when taken as pills. It's becoming increasingly easy just to get it from a pharmacy as the cases have gone down and supply has gone up.